What is up guys? Welcome back to Mad DIY. It's your boy Dave. Today we're going to cover warp, uneven prints, or your print just simply won't stick to the tray. Now we're going to make this a quick video. Battery is low. Even though I got a bunch of other batteries being lazy, I'm going to have to run up here and get it. There's no way I'm going to make this video off of 1%. But anyway, take a look at this, guys. You see that little warp area, how right there it's coming up off the platform, and right here it's coming up a little bit on the tip there. I had these prints here. These are just these Doctor Who's. I tried three different prints, and as you can see on the very end, it's not even. It kind of goes, whoop, creates this little bow effect, and it's always doing it right there at the tip. I'll pull this one up. See, it's right there again kind of warps it's not straight and same here now what I did was I took this guy out for those who have the flash forge finder you could just simply pull this tray out I cleaned it up I made this thing look brand new because I had a bunch of glue just glocked up on there and I don't know I thought I was trying to make it look pretty but ever since I cleaned this guy I had never been able to get a straight print anymore it's not sticking it's a lucky boy this thing has been working I got over 500 hours I think it was 540 hours of print time so far and ever since I cleaned this tray, no bueno. So this is what I'm referring to. You can pull the tray out. Take a look at that. I don't know if you can really see. Right there on the end, see how it curves up? And you can definitely see it right there. See that curve up effect? It's not sticking. It's up. So of course this is a small test print. But if it's a bigger print, it's going to cause this bow effect later on. So I'm gonna put this test file into the description. You can download the test file, therefore you don't have to waste too much of your filament. And look at that spool just going all the way down because of all these prints that I've been running that haven't turned out successful. So let's start with the easy part. It could be as simple as adding some painter's tape to your tray. Of course, with the Flash Forge Finder, there isn't a heated bed. Most of my prints before on a mono price, I would try to keep the bed heated at about 60, but I haven't had that issue with the Flash Forge Finder. I used to print directly to this tray without the glue, and then I simply started adding this purple glue, and I'll cover that in just a second. But let's cover the first step, which you can do. If it's an issue as far as your print's not sticking and it is even, then just simply apply some painter's tape. Here's some that's on my mono price. You can pick this up at any hardware store really cheap don't layer on top of each other try to place it next to each other as close as possible your prints will stick to this cheap effective solution it'll work great another option is I have this case stick now what it is is disappearing purple glue now you just simply apply this stuff it will go on purple but it'll clear up and you won't see it the only thing you're gonna need is a wet cold towel when you're done to simply wipe the back off and that stuff comes right off that's another great option and it works really Really great and is very cheap you can get the stuff for less than two dollars i haven't seen it at walmart staples or anything not this particular brand but i'm pretty sure you can get it online the one that i've used is called k-stick disappearing purple glue Let's see if you can find this stuff if not they do have elmers i haven't tried that yet i'm pretty sure that's going to work just as great the other option if it's warping then it has to do with the leveling on my flash forge finder i leveled this thing probably about 10 times and i'm getting closer and the reason why i'm getting closer is i'm not following the flash forge finder when it says okay let's see there's three pins we want to tighten all these guys up all the way and then we just simply want to wait until it hits the sensor at the top and then it says okay the left side in the front is good the right side in the front is good the one in the back is good you should have an even print on the table that I am printing on there is a minor slant I don't really think that's doing anything there I could prop it up and even it I really don't think that's doing it because just I in this I still see that this bit is slightly off it's almost going at an angle like this going kind of down so what I've been doing and the prints have been getting closer is I'm just kind of winging it I could tell right here in the front that this area is down which is going to cause this little warp effect right here to cause it to go up so I'm just simply going to go ahead and twist it to go ahead and rise it up and I'm going uh, clockwise just to get that up a little bit just gonna give it a couple turns and I'm going to do the same thing in the back there because it's warping in the back I'm going to give it a couple more turns it's a little harder when it's at the bottom area you could change the, the area just gonna wing it for now for the video so I'm going to rise the back just a little bit you don't want to go too far 
because the nozzle will grind on here and it'll drag your print and it'll mess it up that way as well. So this is just another option. It's a little bit harder because it takes several tries, but with this little test file that I'll put in the description there, you can just kind of resize it to fit your platform. It should work out great. So now that I changed that, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape this off there and I'm gonna give it another shot and see what happens. One of the cool things about this test file is you can actually, once it starts printing the squares, it's going to go from left to right and it's going to do three squares in the back, three squares in the front, and then it's going to do one wrap around. That way you can kind of test for the warp. This one here on my printer, I think it's like a 12 or, or 12 or 14 minute file. I'm not sure, but you can always stop it like halfway through. That's what I was doing in the beginning. Like I would notice on the right hand side, the squares weren't sticking. So right now they, they're looking better. It's a little bit more level. So I want to make sure that nozzle is not dragging there on the left. So I'm going to let it go around right after it prints this square here. It's going to do uh, the wrap around and I want to make sure that end on the right isn't going to warp in the front and the back. So here we go right now with the wrap around. So at first my squares weren't sticking. So I did get to the point where the squares are staying up. So now I'm watching that nozzle and I want to make sure it stays down. And guys, I'm hoping, but it looks like it might be staying down but I'm hoping the issue didn't migrate over to the other side. So it looks like it's staying. Looks like I can get that back end down a little bit more. I don't want to really touch it, but it is down. It's looking good on this side as well. And that might do the trick, I'm hoping. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be successful. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for another four minutes. Let it go ahead and ride on out and we'll revisit it and see what happens. I lied, I said 12, 14 minutes, it's actually seven minutes. It's way quicker. You can know about at the three minute mark if it's gonna work, save yourself some filament. Don't go through a big spool like I did. Save yourself some money. Let's go ahead and pull this guy out. Now you can see I'm holding it at an angle. It looks way better. It's actually sticking. It's not cutting it off. It's not warping. All the squares are down. So I'm gonna kind of give it a little test with my fingertip there, see if it's gonna move. Now I would say this down here could actually be slightly better, but if I apply the glue, it should be good to go. As long as that print's gonna stay down, you don't wanna get into like the four hour mark, it starts lifting up, and then you get that warp effect. It looks like that did the trick. So even though your settings, when you're adjusting your, your printer, and it's telling you, okay, this side is good, this side is good. I mean, I'm looking at that tray and it was at an angle. So regardless of what the printer said, I'm not sure if this is just something that happens over time. You may have to just wing it and just go with common sense here. If the tray looks uneven and it's warping on that end, it's, it goes to show that something's not right as far as calibration with that system. It could be because I'm at that 540 hour mark, something needs to be replaced or upgraded or so. I'm not sure, but it didn't happen until I cleaned this tray. And here I am trying to do good, do justice for the printer and I actually made it worse. But either way, your boy's back to normal. So let's go ahead and do that print, see how it turns out. I'll show you the before again and then compare it with the after. And hopefully I can make another one. It takes roughly about four hours. I haven't really figured out a good way to measure how much filament I have left, but that's all I have and I need that color in order to make this. So fingers crossed, let's see if it works and hopefully this is helping you guys out. And just like that, all done. No warps, no bends, it's stuck. So it looks like your boy's got it level. So let's go ahead and pull this guy off. All right guys, I brought it out here so you can get better visualization. Also because we had lost power temporarily, but it's back on. But at either rate, you can see it came out perfect. I still gotta clean up the ends. I mean, that's because of the brim that was down on there. So you're gonna have that, but you could at least see that it's laying flush versus the before. Here's how it was coming up on the end. It would warp up. And of course you could definitely see it there, which also affects the print. So with the light switch cover, it's not as clear, it's messed up. 
you can see it there and it's warped up so just remember a quick recap you want to go ahead and use the uh, purple glue stick which will go on purple and turn invisible and just take a cloth and simply clean it off the back there it'll just wipe right off if that doesn't work you can use the blue painters tape and something else, I never tried this before, but a lot of folks say you can use hairspray to get your prints to stick to the tray as well. But in my case, it was just an adjustment that was needed with the Flash Forge Finder. It helps guide you through, and basically it was telling me, hey, everything is even, it's ready to print, but the situation, it wasn't. So there you have it. Now you can see it and get back to printing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Dave, Mad DIY, signing out till next time. Peace.